This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. Story of the day? Okay. Well, we got to go back a ways first, though. We had a little Pekingese dog about 25 years ago. Cuter than a bug's ear, he was. But he got down in his back uh, about five years old. And so we took him to the vet. The old vet said, well, I think he's dying. He's got back trouble, vertebrae problems. He's going to have to either do an operation, cost a couple of thousand dollars, and or I'll put him to sleep for you for fifty dollars. Well, we sure didn't have the couple thousand dollars. And But uh, I said, well, we ain't putting him down yet. I said, I want to bring the kids out and let them say goodbye to him. Okay. So I went and got the kids and brought them back. And they had a pen area that he could be and they brought him out and set him down and he was so happy to see the, uh, the kids and bouncing around and said oh you shouldn't let him do that. I said if he's dying let him enjoy himself. Let him enjoy himself. And he got to bouncing around and enjoying his life so much that you couldn't tell he had much back problems at all. And so I said I think we'll just take him home and let him die at home. Okay. It was our call. So we took him home and they said don't let him run up and down stairs, all kinds of stuff like that. And he's going to do what he wants to do and he did. And with that in mind, he did just fine. And I'd say within just a couple more days he was doing really good. And he lived for another two years. He lived for another two years. And he was a good dog for the kids without question. And we did it without spending $2,000. Fast forward, my daughter and her husband, they, and they've got a little girl, they bought a mountain dog. Cost $750 it did. That's a bucket of money for a dog, in my opinion. It was just a pup. And three months later, though, started having problems. They'd already had her fixed. And so then they took and uh, they said that uh, she was, uh, you know, sick all the time. So they took her into the vet and they said, well, he, probably the dog's blocked up and going to need to operate. And said it'll cost you about $10,000 and we can't guarantee that the dog will live. Well, they ain't going to spend no $10,000. So they said that uh, they... We're going to think about what to do. And he said, well, I can put her to sleep for you. He wanted $100 to put the dog to sleep, but be that as it may. So they came back the next day. Now, he did give the dog some antibiotics. And by the next day, it was just fine. I said it was just fine. So once in a while would, you know, veterinaries, and these are two veterinaries in two different states, but would they play a little game to make some extra money for themselves or misdiagnose it? Just that simple. And be that as it may, that, that's what the two stories were. Kind of reminds me of decades back, I had a little girl come up and she said, my kitty is going to live. And I said, was it sick? Oh, terrible sick. But she said, it only cost my daddy $300 to save its life at a veterinary. And I said, well, if I had $300, I think I could buy 300 cats and still have some money left over. You guys have a good day.